thank you for talking to me about this wonderful show. Um, I'm curious what your first reaction was when you guys heard that the theme would be Oregon Trail for the new season. I think we were both like, what's that? Um, <laughs> we are not from America and it feels like it's definitely something that American kids in the 90s were very familiar with through the video game. So we were doing our research and <laughs> then we were like, oh, okay, it's like a Western and it's the yeah. frontier of America. I get, got it. Um, but then, yeah, we had to catch up on all the like dysentery references and um, all, all the classic Oregon Trail stuff. Did either of you get to play the game? Did you hunt it down at all? No, I haven't. Can you still play it? I, I don't know. I mean, I know there's ways to like go way back and play like old games some places mm. online, but I don't think it's widely no. available. I know there's like a modern, because you know how like your phone listens to you or something. So when <laughs> the show was first happening, like I kept getting ads for some iOS game that was called like Oregon Trail um, that just looked insane. Um, but no, I haven't, uh, I haven't played the OG. Uh, it's not very fun. You just die over and over again. So you yeah, never it make it to like the end. Yeah, it seems like one of those frustrating, like, old games where you're like, it's just impossible to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps jamming up and you're, like, going to break whatever device you're playing it on. Well, I was also curious. That, I mean, I know this season there was also a bit of a showrunner change. Did anything feel different with Simon not, uh, you know, in that head showrunner position this year? Yeah, it felt kind of exciting in a way where Dan Mark, who's worked on the other two seasons and Robert worked on the second season, they had, um, as far as I knew, like not been in this position a lot before. So there was that sort of giddy energy of someone getting to do this job for the first time, like getting to call these shots. And so there was a lot of like, you know, um, like fun new ideas and things like that, that were really exciting. But they also captured, I think, Simon's voice really well, but also made it a little bit their own. Um, and so it was kind of, it's always exciting when there's sort of new energy, I think. Well, and it was also unique for a lot of people, I, I assume, because I think it was for a lot of people, it was their first project back to, after the pandemic. What was it like to be back on a set during that? You know, bizarre. We were like, <laughs> it's, we were shooting in, um, on this ranch in California in kind of like a, a big spike of COVID in California. Um, so that was pretty freaky. And, um, but luckily we were shooting, uh, I mean, completely outside. Luckily the Oregon Trail is, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're outdoors and um, can stay pretty like distanced and stuff. So I think we felt like it was the safest possible way to, to be working right now. Um, but also very strange, of course. Yeah, it's really like, I was personally just like, so happy to have like somewhere to go. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like I'm losing my mind. But so it was really like, it was really nice to be with people again. But one of the joys of making, especially a show that's like a few months is getting to know the crew and it's always so awkward and hard with this COVID part of it all. Cause like every, you don't even get to really interact with people that much, but on this show, they did something cool where everyone had a name card uh, badge that had their face on it, a picture of their face. Uh, okay. So at least you could somewhat be like, oh, I might recognize this person if I ever saw them at Starbucks after the shoot. Um, so it made it a little bit more human, which I was like, yeah, we should do that on everything. Um, but yeah. Well, I'm sure for both of you, we're probably itching to get back to work and get back to acting. And then I'm sure it's just really strange where you feel like no one wants to come near you while you're on set. Yeah, yeah. And it definitely started where like, you know, we as actors in the beginning, were like, yeah, you know, even we'll keep distance from each other. But then we were like a month or two in and we're like, lunch in your trailer, lunch in mine. <laughs> we're just like... Uh, I guess if we're taking our masks off and we're tested, like at least can we hang out with each other? Cause we're yeah. so starved for like connection. We started to play a fun game of guess that mouse. Yes. Where we kind of like, yeah, it's really bizarre not seeing someone's mouth and it's shocking every time. Cause we'll see them like take it off at like the lunch tent or something mm -hmm. or having water in between takes. And it's like, yeah, a complete shock every time. <laughs> it's never the mouth you think it's going to be. So um, 
that that brought something fun and, and new to, <laughs> <laughs> to set. Well, I was also curious, that, I mean, obviously each season is changing setting and characters. How much input do you guys have in the creation of the characters that you're you're going to be playing in the upcoming season? Uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get to pick out your cool bounty hunter outfit? No. <laughs> I always feel like, at least I'll speak for myself, I'm like, find out right before we're about to do a table read, I'm like, what? Somebody. yeah the second season i got to go to the writer's room so that so i did get to i guess do that once uh and then this season they did invite us to do that but it was on zoom and i'm not trying to add more zoom time to my existence on this planet so i was like i'll keep it as a surprise but um but yeah we they always ask and then we say stuff and then sometimes it makes it in but it's kind of like a roll of the dice in a very fun way where I'm like, you're opening a present and you're like, what am I going to get to do this yeah, time? Yeah. Did you guys watch any, I mean, it, the, I've only been able to see one episode, but it's clearly kind of playing on a bunch of Western tropes. Did you guys watch any Westerns in preparation of, of doing the season? I started watching Bonanza with my <laughs> mom because she grew up watching that and she loves that. And yeah, you know, and I also, <laughs> it's like, I love the horses. Um, and then I also watched Searches, um, which I really, I really enjoyed. But then it also stresses me out because then you see the horses go down. Like they'll be shooting and, the, and then I'm like, this is actually, I just want the horses to be, to be happy and, ga and free and galloping. But um, I love Westerns. I feel like it's, it, it's such a, it's such a, dream to like get to actually be in that fantasy land it's really it's such a fun genre i can't stand westerns <laughs> <laughs> i find them so boring but i will say i have a new respect for them now because i'm like god this is hard like just <laughs> making one this thing that was so fun hard. we our dp blake mcclure who's incredible he shot it like it was a Western. So we had these really mm -hmm. huge like lights that were actually fire, I think. They, they were yeah. really hot. And yeah, like, yeah, on like a bright day, he would put a huge sunlight in front of our faces. Yeah. So we were like- And we were squinting and we, I, we kept being like, that's exactly my eye line. Like I can't, <laughs> I, and, and he was like, hey, like, you know, Clint Eastwood, that's why he's squinting. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always just look like the sun is in front of your face. That acting style is really informed by how you can't open your eyes and, and see. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. It, there did seem to be some bright lighting on there. Yeah. Um, my final question for you both, is, should there be a season four, do you have an ideal hopeful scenario or setting that you would get to tackle that one, tackle in that one? Mine is dogs. I just came up with this this morning because yeah. I knew I'd be asked. Just like a season with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Ah. <laughs> We're dog walkers. Just go really like micro. Yeah. Well, that gets very meta with like Daniel's dog walking meme. Oh, yeah. right. The train wreck. That's, that's kind of cool if we could kind of expand on that meme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's know? like the golden age of content. We're expanding on Daniel and the meme from a <laughs> 10 years ago for 10 episodes. For us, when it's draws. I want to go to space. I want to go to the future. Mm -hmm. I want like aliens. I want that. I'm into it. Uh, well, thank you guys both so much. Uh, I love the show. I think you guys are both fantastic in it. And I can't wait to see the rest of the season. Oh, thank, thank you. you.